The Power BI mobile app is designed to help you consume and share Power BI reports and dashboards. Click the burger icon at the top left corner of the app to move between reports that you've created and ones that have been shared with you by other people. If you have lots of reports and dashboards, it's also useful to know that you can click the search icon at the top right corner of the screen. Once you've tapped on the screen to open up the report or dashboard that you're interested in, it's very easy to scroll through the content. Sometimes the content might look better if you turn your phone on its side. In this example, I'm able to see more visuals at the same time by rotating my phone. If I see a particular visual that looks interesting, I can tap once onto that visual to see it full screen. Towards the bottom right corner of the screen, you will see the annotate icon. It looks like a pencil that's drawing a line. Click once on the annotate icon to add drawings or images. This is useful if you want to mark up a particular visual. For example, in my case, I'm putting smiley faces on the things I'm happy with and sad faces on the things I'm not happy with. I can then choose the share icon at the top right corner of the app and choose to send an image, so a simplified version of this content, to somewhere else. In this case, I've chosen to send the image over to Microsoft Teams, but I could equally, in the same amount of time, have chosen to send it as an email. Another way of starting a conversation around a particular dashboard is by clicking on the comments icon at the bottom left corner of the screen. Within the comments icon, you can choose to at mention one of your colleagues. This will send them an email, and from within there, they can either reply directly via email or they can come into Power BI and join the conversation there. Another interesting option is Q and A. You can type in a question as though you were talking to a person or sending them an email, and automatically Power BI will do its best to answer your question. What it's doing here is looking at the data that's available, it's summarizing that data for you. If you wish to give another user access to a report, rather than just a picture of a report, you can use the share icon in the bottom right corner. This is a premium feature. It requires the Power BI Pro license. Another useful option within the Power BI mobile app is the ability to set alerts for when values change in your underlying data. In this particular visual, it was telling me that there was 10,000 people have been hired so far into this company. What I'm going to pretend is that I want to be notified automatically when that value moves from 10,000 all the way up to above 11,000. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I want to be notified as soon as it does. In summary, the Power BI mobile app is designed to help you view dashboards and reports. It's not designed to allow you to create or edit dashboards and reports. You can also use the Power BI mobile app to share annotated images with anyone, anywhere. In our example, we shared to Teams, but we could have shared to anywhere that our mobile device was aware of, including emails. Another useful feature was the ability to set alerts. This video is part of a series called Your Know How. Watch other videos in the series to learn more about Microsoft 365.